and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to my Bree campaign for Divide and Conquer. And hopefully I can finish this campaign off as soon as I possible, because I want to start playing as the elves, the Noldorin elves of Region. That is what I want, uh, so hopefully we can finish this campaign rather soon, because the, the objectives I've, that I have left here is to defeat Isengard and to defeat Angmar. Those are the two objectives I have, and after that... I'm gonna end this campaign. But this battle we have here. Ash Conqueror of Khazadum is facing Muzug and Ufluk. And they have some powerful forces here. Look at this army. Rather strong, I have to say. And this army also really strong. So we have two major, big, strong armies to face. They have some horses in here. They have yeah, they have four units of horses. This will be tough. I mean, their their units outclass mine uh, with quite a lot. Uh, so this will definitely be a challenge. But nonetheless, we will go in and try and defeat them with everything we have. Let's go in. Okay, start deployment. Uh, I would like to take a corner here. Oh, we have Helm's Deep over here. I wonder if one army will come from this direction. There could be a bug though in this battle map, I, I feel like. I think one army might come from this direction. I think we'll try and take a corner here. If we can. This corner is not the best in the world. How about this corner? No, we cannot use this one. Uh, I'm not sure where we should be should position ourselves. One corner though would be nice. But this is the only one. Okay, we'll just form up over here. One of their armies will probably arrive from Helm's Deep. Or they might be glitched out also. That could be the case as well. It remains to be seen. Get over here. You will get some stakes up and going as well. There we go. Start the battle. Yeah, they're coming from this area and I think they're going to be glitched out. I don't think they can get into the battle map actually. I don't see a way for them to get down here. Uh, yeah, they're probably glitched out. There might be a road down, but I don't see it. I don't think there is a path for them. Okay, now we have to phase one army. Uh, I think... Yeah, we need to move. We need to move. Uh, move fast, move fast. Get up over here instead. Try to get up there. You guys get up there as well. Cavalry, stay in the back. Uh, you will get up there as well. Actually, you can walk instead. Save your stamina. Walk. No, yeah, walk. Okay, so we have this army to face. They're spawned in Scripps army. This army we can probably deal with alone. It's still a really powerful army. They have some really powerful units in this one. Uh, these guys won't be able to arrive in time. I don't think so. They're, they might be, I, but I'm not really sure where they are. Can't see them on the map. I have no idea where they are. No, we can't even check them out either. We can't go there. It's impossible. Well, we're just gonna have to wait then. And see if they might arrive or not. There's a slim chance that they might be able to get o over here. But I don't think so. This map is kind of glitchy. There's hard for AI to join the battle on this map which is unfortunate for Isengard but better for us of course we only need to face one army which is gladdening absolutely because they have some really disgustingly powerful units in this army some heavy Urukai forces in here did they have a general in here as well yes they have a general there he needs to die otherwise they're never going to break we need to make sure that he's defeated accordingly. Go wider if you can. And the shield wall lads will go into shield wall. Yeah, go into shield wall. You're going to be needed in shield wall. You're going to perform so much better in shield wall. Archers and crossbows. You're firing at the moment. Keep doing that. Crossbows. Yeah, take this little hill if you can. And stand over there and fire from there if you can. You guys just move over there like that. Perfect. Create a solid front line here. 
General, you're just gonna stay there. Cavalry, you need to be ready to charge. We need to kill their horses first, because they're gonna smash my guys. They're oh, look at this. Are we seeing them? Yes, we are seeing them. But how are they gonna get out of there? Can they open the gate? That's the question. Oh, they could actually get in here. That's interesting. Nice. They will reinforce. But the question is, will they be able to get out of there? That is the thing. Interesting. They seem to be joining the battle here, which is good. Uh, this is going to be a major battle indeed. Uh, if you could fire at the... Uh, where's the general? Where's the general? He's over here somewhere. He's over there. Fire at the general. Weaken him. Oh, and here comes the horses. Perfect. Get into my soldiers. That's actually wonderful that you're doing that. Kill their horses. We're just going to hold the line and wait a while before we send our cavalry out. Because we need to destroy their cavalry first. They will be a major problem. We need to be able to run around freely with our cab. Otherwise, they're going to destroy my cab easily. Fire the crossbows. Uh, these guys are going to, ho going to hold the line easily here. Fighting some clan spearmen. Fighting some all, thank god. It's good that they're charging my axemen because my axemen are really good against armor. So I think they're armor piercing. I've forgotten. Yeah, effective against armor. These guys will perform well against all, thank god. Everything is working as intended at the moment, which is rather nice. It's going exactly as I want it to go. Over here, we have some raiders. We could potentially charge them down a little bit. Yeah, they are joining. They are joining. They can just go through the wall. That is good. I, I like that. I thought uh, there wouldn't be a way for them to arrive, but they can arrive, and that is good. I like that they can. Are they going to go here and charge in here? That's actually perfect if they do. We will be able to get some good charges off if they are doing that. Yeah, they're charging in here. Perfect. We're going to get some charges off here. Archers. Yeah, they're charging with the cab as well. Focus this war unit. We need to get rid of their horse units. Get over there. Perform some good glorious charges on these guys. No, they're going after my horses. Yes, they are. Missile forces, fire at these guys. Are you fighting someone? Yes, you are. Bloody hell. Get out of there. Is there any way we... No, they're charging in there by the looks of it. Yes, they are. Yeah, they are doing... No, they're cancelling that. Well, feel free to charge these raiders down if you want. We need to watch out for this one, though. Oh, they're coming here. They're coming. Get in there. There we go. And walk out. Range troops. Oh, they're catching my guys here. Yeah, they're catching my guys. Get out. Get out of there. Keep firing on these guys. Fire at the wargs. They are a major problem. You need... Oh, they're chasing after my guys here now. As long as they're doing that, we cannot charge effectively here. Because they're gonna smash my cab. You guys, see if you can meet them. Just try and meet them. Try and go for them in melee. You're gonna smash them easily. Here are the generals. Fire at them. You can go and berserk a little bit against these guys if you want. Yeah, go in there in melee, uh, gatekeepers. You can destroy them easily and fast. Go for the archers there. Just get in there and fight them with your pikes. We should be able to drop these guys fast now. And this should be a decent charge, I hope. There we go. Did some damage there. Not that much, but a little bit. Get out. Get out immediately. Let's take a look. They're sending some raiders over there. I think they only have 18 remaining. Come on, pikemen. You should be able to destroy them easily. 61 bodyguards remaining. I think we are going to try and charge them soon. Uh, would be nice if we could snipe that general out of the game. Uh, we will try. You are going to join in as well. As long as we can delete their bodyguard. This is not going to do that much, is it? Not that much. Get out. As long as we can kill their general here, uh, their unit should break rather easily. You need to join in here. 
Uh, they have one walk there. <laughs> you are done there. Get out. Get out of there. Fire with your crossbows. You need to join in here. Against the bodyguard, we need to destroy him. If we are to have a chance. You can go into shield wall as well. You will, Yeah, you are already in shield wall. I think we should fire at the pikemen here. Yeah, fire at the pikemen. Good, okay. Let's charge the general from two directions. You can charge from there. Would be nice if we could kill this guy. Our lives would be so much easier if we could kill this guy. You're charging the general, that is good. You're doing some damage to the general. You will charge from the other side. And you can disengage now. These guys are not that strong in the charge. But this might be a good charge from the back. If we're lucky here. Hopefully. I think that did rather well. Get out. And you will charge again now. Prepare to charge. How is it going on the front lines? Going slowly but surely. It's going decent I think. Yeah we have one here. You can move out. Go for the arch units. Take that away and run for the arch units. You can help over there as well. You did another charge. Well done. 26 remaining. Yeah, we just need to kill this general and we might have a chance to win this one. Get in there. And you will charge again as well. Keep doing what you're doing. You fire at the pikemen. We have caught their pikemen here, which is rather nice. Uh, you can go into shield wall as well. You're going to perform better. I think you need to get out. Leave some room for the other cavalry units. Let's see. Can we do some good damage here? No, they stopped before. They stopped before they charged. Not the best one. Get out. 19 remaining. We're, we're killing them slowly. It's taking its time, absolutely. Fire the pikemen. It's taking its sweet time with these guys. It certainly does. They're so strong. If you measure them with the Bree units. They're so bloody good. Um, when you stack them against Bree guys. My lads aren't that strong. Their general is bloodied up though, so with a little luck we might be able to kill him soon with a charge. Uh, did some damage I think, get out. Leave room for the other cav unit. They're coming, get out, get out, get out, get out. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Did we do any damage there? They're strong, strong and sturdy. These guys, absolutely, and here comes the reinforcements. Would certainly like to kill their general before the reinforcements come, because we need to get rid of this army when they arrive. Keep focusing on the pikemen. Come on, one more charge. Keep doing what you're doing, we need to kill that general, we need to break this army before this army arrives. Come on, kill that general. Did you even charge? I'm not sure. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Here comes the next unit. Come on, leave some room for them. Perfect. Come on, kill that general. Kill that general now. You're charging straight into him, but he's still alive. That bloody strong Urukai. He's still alive. Go for the archers over there. Four remaining. Come on, finish them off. Kill that general. We need him dead. We need him bloody dead. Tie these archers up. We just need this first army to break. We need that general dead. Everyone is charging on this unit. Come on, get in there. Oh. Stay in combat a little while. Hurt him as much as you can. Good charge there. How are we doing here? I'm not sure. And here comes the next reinforcement army. We need to bring these guys down before they arrive. Perform one charge more. Get out, do another charge. We have killed 39% of their force. We need this army to break before these guys arrive because they, they have some tough guys in here. They still have four remaining. My god, they're powerful. So much stronger, th stronger than my cavalry. There we have some pikemen over here. Cavalry, sneak in between here if you can between those forces. Three remaining, come on, destroy that general, man. 
That general seems to be on steroids. He's really performing well. One unit can just run away from there and go for the archers. Shut them down. Go for the infantry in the, over there if you can. How is it looking? Two remaining. Come on, you can do it. You can kill that general. I know you can. They're gonna run away. Yes, they are. We might be able to do some solid damage here though. Might even make someone break. See if we can make some unit break here. This should be devastating to them. Straight in the back here. Well done. That was a devastating charge. Did some solid damage there. Get out. How is it going for you? Come on, man. Okay. Do another charge again then. Yeah, they have some more crossbows as well. That is rather scary, actually. My front line is really thinning out here as well. This is not good. You're, you're about done there. Form a line here. Form a line. One unit will go for these, this unit in the back. The rest will form a line here and support the men. Go for this unit. You're all the way over here fighting. Oh, here comes the pikemen as well. And my men are starting to break now. Yep. Yeah. Go for this flipping general, please. He's not gonna die, is he? He's not gonna die. It's looking rather grim, I have to say. You need to tie the berserkers up. Archers. Or actually, archers, you can tie them up. Tie them up, archers. Yeah, we're breaking. My forces are breaking here. It's not looking good. Go over here. Stand over there. General, move over here to the border. Fire at the raiders. Performing decent. I mean, the general isn't dying here. That is a huge problem. He refuses to die. He has been alone now for a long time and he's not dying. So I don't think we're going to do this, unfortunately. We... Uh, he needed to die uh, earlier than, than he did. He's still alive. I mean, it's, it's absolutely insane. Switch target. You will go for them and you will go over here instead. Can't believe he's still alive. It's actually insane. Uh, go into shield wall. Everyone needs to go into shield wall here. That can. You, shield wall. Get into that formation. You're going to hold the line so much better if you're in shield wall. General, you're standing there. Perfect. They're t they've tied them up here. Yeah. We're out of alternatives now. We're really thinning out in troops here. And we didn't kill the general here. So that is a major... major mi Come on, kill him now. Kill him, please. No. He's not dying. <laughs> yeah. He needed to die for us to have a chance here. Absolutely. Just see if you can get a charge off against these pikemen. Do some damage to them. And you didn't do anything. Get out. Well, on the positive note, uh, they're chasing after my general here. That is not a good thing. On a positive note, you can get out of there. Help the general out. On a positive note, we did do a lot of damage, though, uh, to them. Which is good, of course. Uh, get in there and perform a charge. We need to kill that general, though. He needs to die for it to something good we need to bring from this battle. A general dead is always a plus. But I'm not sure we're gonna get it, unfortunately. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. You got some clan spearmen as well. Get over there. Come on, man. Please. He's he's been surrounded for ten minutes now and he's still alive. I can't believe it. It's actually insane. How much hit points does that the guy have? I don't understand. I mean, we have another bodyguard unit there, though. We could try and kill him as well. Come on, man. Please finish this flipping general off. He's been surrounded for 20 minutes now. Come on. Kill him. Bloody hell. How hard can it be? Yeah, we're holding on by a thread here. It's not looking great. But my, my men, as long as they're in shield wall, they can hold the line for quite some time. That is a good thing. Cav, you're gonna be... Get over there, get over there. Uh, you, unfortunately, you're gonna have to fight these guys. And you're gonna help them with that bodyguard. How is it going here? Lads, what are you doing? Come on, kill him. You've been... Oh my god, I can't believe this. This guy has been alone for such a long time and he's still alive. I don't understand. Is this usual? Is this something that happens regularly? 
the fact that he's alive after this time. I don't, I can't believe this is a regular thing. You will charge these guys in the back. Ash is going to have major problems against this bodyguard unit. He needs aid with the cavalry. My guys are still holding the line. They're performing quite well. We've killed 51% of their forces, but we need generals to die here. We need to kill their... Yes! I think we've killed one general, finally. Yeah, it was this guy. Finally, one guy dead. Took a while. Now we're gonna focus all that we can on this bodyguard unit and see if we can defeat them. We're gonna see some break in here after that. No, I don't think so. They're so sure that they're gonna win here, so I don't think they will break. But uh, we will try and kill as many generals as possible in this battle. Uh, they have two major generals here, so one is finally dead. Let's see if we can kill this last guy. He's smashing Ash so hard here. But with the cavalry help, we might have a chance here to turn the tide. I don't know, we get one kill there or something. <laughs> that was not that great. But these guys are on their way to support. Yeah, my front line is really crumbling down to nothing now. It's a certain defeat, but... Uh, Probably after this victory, we have done enough to help Rohan deal with Isengard alone. That is what I'm hoping for. Rohan is really strong now. We have saved Rohan quite hard, so... Hopefully this battle will let them finish them off at Hornburg. That is what I'm hoping for. They're sending their bloody berserkers this way as well. That is not good. Guys, hold the lines as long as you can. We just need time to kill the other general. That is going to make everything so much easier for us if we kill him. Yep, just kite away from the berserkers. Make room for this cavalry unit to perform charges on the general. Ash, stay alive. Stay, stay, stay alive. Where are you? He's in the back. He's in the back. That is good. That is really good. We're armor piercing, so we should be able to do some damage. No, 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 no. Flipping hell. They're charging after my cav here. Ignore them. You charge the berserkers, tie them up or something. Just leave room for my guys here to charge these guys. If you can. Yeah, form up like that. Perfect. You can just buy some time for them. And charge these guys in the back. Ignore these flipping berserkers. This charge should turn the tide of this engagement here. As long as Ash is alive. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Did we do anything there? We, I, yeah, we killed some of them, but not that much. Those bloody berserkers are chasing after us. Disturbing. Painful to see. These guys are still holding the lines. Brave men indeed. How is it looking here now? 35 remaining against 24. We're still losing. Even though we're armor piercing, I mean... My guy, these guys are broken now, okay. See if we can get in between here if possible. Sneak in there. Get in there, there we go. Ah, get in there. Exhausted, wavering. Ah, one more charge. They're wavering, they're gonna break at any second. He's fleeing, yeah, it's over. We're gonna break now, the entire force is gonna break. They're still fighting. Should break at any moment. Yeah. Devastating defeat here. But, uh, I mean, we didn't even have a full stacked army. So I'm rather pleased with the result nonetheless. We have critically weakened their armies. This army is still rather strong. But the, the, the respond in army is not that strong anymore. Uh, we did get some solid kills here. We killed one general as well. So hopefully now... Eyes and God should be able to finish them off alone. They should, no, Rohan should be able to finish off Eyes and God at Hornburg alone after this one. A defeat, but a decent defeat, no, uh, actually. Well done, even though it was a defeat. Okay, yeah, we lost that one, but still, as I've said, um, I think Rohan should be able to destroy them alone now because we did some severe damage to them. Uh, Bobby, take a look over here and check out. Yep, yeah, this army uh, is not that large anymore. 
they still have a big garrison in here, but uh, I mean, it's look it looks manageable now for Rohan. Rohan should definitely just send everything you have, Rohan, towards Hornburg, and you should have a win there. Uh, march these guys up, get over there. This garrison is going to be needed there, I think. Send in a cavalry unit in there. You, what do they have here? Do they have any? Bobby, check out this region. We cannot see what they have here. Talk with them. Uh, if they have a general in there, we need to kill him. I wonder... This is only a general. This is only a general. I think the lad inside Hornburg is just a general as well. I wonder if we kill Ugluk here. I think we have defeated Isengard and I think they will get regicide because they don't have any more family members. That is what we will do. We will kill Ugluk here. Uh, they have another force here though. Um, a rather large one. This is not the largest one. They have three generals in here. Some really good guys. Nazkai in here. They have some powerful units. They're rather weakened though. Uh, we're going to try and rush this army, destroy this army as fast as we can. And hopefully we can disengage because this army is rather strong. Kill this army and then disengage. And hopefully if we kill Ugluk here and the other guys in here, I think we will have defeated Isengard. I think they're going to die from that. Let's go in. Okay, start deployment. Uh, just, we need to rush them here. I want to rush them and just swarm them with my lads here as fast as possible uh, to destroy Ugluk. Uh, start the battle. Just rush him. They have a lot of power, powerful things, but they have, they don't have any. They don't have a lot of troops here. Just if you just rush this guy. Um, we should be able to swarm him and kill uh, this entire army rather fast before this army can act and do things. That is the plan. Archers, get over here. Join in. Of course they're gonna go straight towards the woods uh, to make me not see anything. <laughs> the AI loves fighting in the woods because they don't want you to see shit when you fight them. Cavalry, get over here. Yeah, the reinforcements army, we cannot let it out. Oh, they're kind of close. Yeah, this might be a loss, but as long as we kill Ugluk, I think we have defeated Isengard. And they're running away from us. That is rather disturbing. Keep chasing them with everything we have. Finally, they're turning, turning towards me. Good. Cavalry, don't go into their trap. Get over there. We have tied them up. You guys, if you could just hold the line against these guys for as long as you can. Get over there and tie them up for as long as you can. Buy some time for my guys here. And we're in the woods here, which is rather unpleasing because we cannot see shit in here. How is it looking? We have not even tied them up, every one of them, yet. There's some... Tied up with some flipping... This, the, okay, this, this is the this is Ugluk's army. This is Ugluk's unit, I think. Should be. He's probably hiding somewhere around here. Can't see him though. Cavalry, where do we want to charge? I can't see shit, as I've said. Uh, try and tie these guys up. Here comes some spear god. Uh, oh god, they're just so scattered and uh, they're not reformed at all. Ignore them if you can. We need to destroy this Berserker units because Ugluk is in here. They don't seem, doesn't seem that they want to fight, unfortunately. Please tie this Berserker unit up. And you charge them in the back. You guys can charge this arch unit in the back. Yeah. My poor guys over here have tied them up. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be able to hold them at bay for a long time. But but as long as they, they're doing what they're doing now, it's going to be fine. We're not going to win this battle. We're, we're not going to win it. But we can still defeat Isengard in this battle. That is the plan. That is what I'm aiming for. Uh, we've killed a lot of their berserkers. Well done there. Well done indeed. Get out. Just hold them at, hold them, hold them at bay. 
Archers, you're gonna be the next. Oh, they're actually sending forces here. Yeah. Wog Marauders. Oh, flipping trees. I hate fighting in the flipping trees. It's absolutely dreadful. Absolutely hate it. You're not doing anything. You can get in there as well and just tie them up over there. Cavalry. These guys go are not going to break because they're led by Ugluk. Where is Ugluk? He should be in here somewhere. Can't see him though. We need to find him. We need to make sure that he's in here somewhere. There he is. There he is. Charge them. Oh, but they're sending some bodyguards over there now. You. Where do you want to send you? This might turn into a disaster as well. We need to make sure that we kill Ugluk. That's our only way. He needs to die. And then I'm going to... Oh, 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 oh. Yes, he's dead. Ugluk is dead. Well done. Well done. Um, is there any way we could break this army? Uh, I, I don't see a way for us to win this battle. But we have killed Ugluk. And I think that is going to be enough to destroy this faction. I think he's the last guy alive. If we have defeated them, we're just gonna let uh, Endwaith deal with them. And we're not gonna bother with Isengard anymore because they're gonna be dead. But they are outnumbering us and they have the wooded area in their advantage here as well, so... I can't even see what I'm doing at the moment, so... Um, oh, they're charging at us there. Wonderful. I can't see shit. I hate trees so flipping much because I can't see what I'm doing at all. It's just a bloody blob fiesta in here. I'm uh, actually just dis disengage. Disengage. Everyone run away from here. Just get out of here. Um, we're gonna lose a lot of guys. We've killed Ugluk. That is what I wanted to do here. Uh, I'm just gonna exit out. Yeah, clear defeat, of course, uh, but we killed Ugluk, and with a little luck here, Isengard will be defeated from this. Let's take a look at the campaign map. As I've said, everyone, every general that we saw were just regular generals, and Ugluk was the last family member that we could see. And I think, with us defeating Ugluk, I think Isengard will die now from regicide. Accept that. Let's take a look. Yeah, faction destroyed, Isengard is dead. Uh, wonderful. We can now uh, leave them to Inedwaith and leave them to to Rohan to deal with them. Good. We have defeated Isengard by getting defeated ourselves in big battles. <laughs> good. Isengard is dead at least. That is That is good. That is really nice. They still have some disgustingly powerful armies here. Inedwaith, you're going to have to deal with them alone. Uh, and now, we can send all of our armies up north to Angmar. Because Angmar will be the last uh, faction that we're gonna focus. You guys will reinforce in the north as well. Aldaron, they've taken Nochvaroglo, uh, the Dunedain, and I think, yeah, this is taken, everything is taken here. They still have this place. Oh, Angmar in capital. Oh, this is a still Angmar. Okay. Aldaron. Litash. Yeah, you will go for Litash. Uh, go for that. The region that is all the way in the back. Oh, they're besieging this fort. Yeah, I mean, Angmar's days are really counted. I mean, if we're lucky here, we might even be able to win this campaign in this episode. It's a possibility. Absolutely. You get back to Bree. Retrain as many as you can. Retrain, 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 retrain. I'm gonna send the Steel Bowman in there as well. Good. Good. Uh, we did manage to defeat Isengard, but not in a pretty way. Absolutely not. Uh, but they're dead, so end the, end the turn. We will just leave Isengard to Rohan and Inadwaith to deal with alone. We're not gonna bother with them, because they're gone. Inedwaith and Rowan can mop up the rebel armies. It's going to take a while for them because those rebel armies are insanely strong. They are really strong, so it's going to take a while. Look at the elves. The elves are going on the offensive as well. That is nice to see. Look at the elves. They're actually going on the offensive because of our aid. We aided them to this. Remember that. And, yeah. 
Angmar's days are counted. Absolutely, they're done for. Totally done for. Poor Angmar. They are gone from the lands. All thank troubles, yeah, they're gone. Uh, where did I send my elven guys? Are they in here? No. Are they in Aldaron's army? No, they're not. Where, the, where did I send them? My elven... I know that I recruited some elves. Are they in Mitrite? No. Where are they headed? That is... Yeah, they're over here. Mitchell Delving, okay. You need to go up north as well. Keep retraining soldiers in here. The elves will also join this army at Bree. Oh, they still had another region here, of course. They did. Yes, they did. You will take a look at this region here. Yeah, they, hopefully the elves will deal with this one. That would be nice to see if the elves would go on the offensive there. Alderon, you will ignore those guys and you will go for Litash. Spy, you'll take a look over there. And this spy... Oh, the dwarves have taken this area. This spy will take a look at Kandum. And they're blocking my path there. Just wait a turn. Busra, that we're getting a lot of buildings. Just, I mean, just queue up a bunch of buildings here. Yeah? We have so much cash now, so it won't be a problem. Queue up everything you can. Queue up the roads there. Wonderful. Get everything we can get. We are so, so in, in such a good seat in terms of economy now, so we can just do this. Really doesn't matter what we're getting. Go for the economy buildings first. I just want to make sure that every region is producing uh, more uh, economy or more buildings each turn. Go for that. Queue up everything here. There we go. I think we've queued up everything we can. Kingdom of Rohan and Mordor at war with each other. That is going to be tough for, for Rohan, absolutely. This spy... You can actually take a look here and check if uh, Rohan will take that region. Woody, you will move north as well. This army can actually go towards um, this area. Would be nice to take control over this one as well. To free them off the tyranny from the Ardenaim. Just get every soul that we can get here. We're probably going to try and get a force over there as well. Oh, the merchant there. The elves are going to help in the north. And before we end the turn, I want to just make sure that it's going correctly here. Retrain them, the last thing we do before we end the turn. There we go. End the turn. Yeah, Rowan, you should be able to take that rebel f uh, place now. You should be able to take Hornburg. It's only guarded by rebels. Come on, Rowan, you should be able to do that. <laughs> Hopefully. But they have so much experience though, all of the Isengard rebel armies that is left, so... They're going to be a tough challenge to bring down, absolutely, especially when you're cavalry focused. It's certainly going to be a problem. We're not the largest empire in the world, absolutely not. Uh, we are... But we have brought peace to uh, Rohan, we have brought peace to, to the north soon. Yeah, they got defeated. <laughs> it's going to take a long time for poor Rohan to take control. Oh, they only have cell swords in there. It's going to take a long time for them. In and Wath seems to be doing stuff, though. Did they take Karas? No, Karas is not taken. But this, this place they should be able to take. And hopefully. We already have everything in construction so we're just gonna leave that these lads can go to the west towards this other nine place and oh, they have a lot of armies here they have a lot of armies how can they have so many armies it's actually insane uh, Thorbad can you get me boats we cannot get any boats I really feel like we need to move guys over there to the west would be nice if we could sneak our way in there as well. 
with some forces. Could you get any mercs? You can get some dwarven travelers. You could get a boat as well. By the looks of it. You need to stay over here. Would be nice if we could get a boat. Yes, can you get a boat? No, we can't. Get back down the towers then. Elves, get over to Bree. Aldaron, go for Lichash, their stronghold. Besiege that. What do they have here? They have some cavalry and some regular things. Spy, get over there. Oh, this is... <laughs> they have a large army in here guarding this place. Absolutely. Oh, they're blocking our path here. Flipping dwarves. Take this way then. Angzul has been taken by the dwarves as well. Uh, this is still belonging to Angmar. I mean, I'm just going to end the turn again here because uh, there's not more we can do. We, we're sending armies to, to the north here. You guys can actually go to the west. Go towards this area. These regions will probably not require any major garrisons, I don't think. And before we end the turn, I want to make sure that we retrain as many as we can. End the turn again. Because the elves will also join that army, and the steel bowmen will also join that army, so uh, that will probably be a full stack. Yeah, Angmar's days are definitely counted. They are done for. They have three regions left. They're facing the Northern Dunedain, me, the dwarves, and the high elves. I don't see a way for them. Come on, come on in the way. Please take Karas now. Show me that you have the strength to do it. I think they actually defeated a rebel army there. Looks like it. Come on, Inuvith. You can do it. I know you can. They're sending every army they have there. <laughs> you can do it. I know you can. The other... No oh, there's the army. Okay, I did. They failed. They failed. <laughs> they failed utterly. <laughs> of course they did. Oh. Get back in there. You guys can actually sneak over there as well. See if you can get over there. Oh, but they have... Oh, yeah, they have... Oh, In and Wait are sending armies. Are In and Wait at war with them? Yes, they are. Good In and Wait. Good to see that you're doing things. You can get a boat. Get that boat. Get back to Under Towers. Boat. Get over here. And... Get some lads into the boat. The Metrith army. You can start moving as well. Get over there. Uh, let's take a look. I think this army should be about ready now. Take out every fresh soli that we have in here. Take the general with us. Steel bowmen, you will join in there. And you will join in there as well. And this is quite the decent army I think we're getting a general in here good you we can take the spearman with us as well and you will go up north for Condum perhaps spy get over there take a look uh, yeah this army will go for Condum get over there go towards Condum you are probably going to head for Mount Gram if we're lucky here we might be able to get reinforcements from the North and Dunedain in this battle. And maybe even the elves. Would be nice if they could join in as well. Got some buildings done. Well done. Alliance in Tatas. Dwarves of Ered Luin and High Elves. Okay. Why? Why did that happen? Oh. The Dwarves of Ered Luin are at war with the North and Dunedain. Oh my god. That is really immersion breaking. Really. Well, well. Let them be at war with each other. As long as we can finish off uh, Angmar first. <laughs> Your attention is an honor, noble we have some good armies here. Hope, oh, But they have a big army in there. They have a large garrison. Yes, my lord. Uh, this is a... I wonder if we could just outer solve this one. I'm gonna try. Yes, we could. Good. Exterminate this place. Leave behind some merchant lads. 
and see if we could go for... No, it's only one spot there. And Gandalf is taking this, that spot up. Get out. They're happy here. Perfect. Repair everything you can. Go for the roads. Alderon, I would love if you could go for Mount Graham. But Gandalf is staying in the way. You'll stay there, though. Good, they only have two regions left. We have armies on the way. And a turn again. Ah, yeah. Not the funniest episode, perhaps, but I really want to start uh, my elven campaign. The elves of uh, the Noldorian elves. Um, and I've said for a long time that the, the win conditions for this campaign is to defeat Isengard and Angmar. So that is what we will do. And maybe we can possibly take out the other nine as well. It remains to be seen if I want to do that. We have the armies to do it, of course. Uh, but uh, I'd rather start the next campaign, actually. I want to see what we can do in this episode. If we're lucky, we might even be able to destroy Angmar in this one. If we do that, I'm going to call this campaign and quit. I'm going to quit this campaign. Oh, they're getting their spawned in army now. By the looks of it. Gandalf is still standing in the way here, which is rather unfortunate. You, get over there. We cannot besiege it because he's still standing in the flipping way. And Gandalf, get out of there. Ered Lewin is besieging here. That is good. And you will join them. You will join in. Angmar wanes, yeah. It's not looking good for them. Cue that one up. Construction report. A lot of buildings getting done. Wonderful. Boats. Get over there. We have many armies on the way. Towards Smithland. You can actually go over there as well. This army will deal with Khan Doom. I mean, I just want Gandalf to move. Is there any way? We can't besiege because they're standing in the way here as well. That is actually rather unfortunate. Could they just move out of here so that we could besiege? Would be nice with some resistance from the Northern Dune, absolutely, but uh, they're not attacking, so we're just gonna wait, unfortunately. We're gonna end the turn again. We're getting some new family members to the faction as well, by the. By the sound of it, it sounds like we're getting some new family members. Uh, absolutely. You can hear that sound, the, the general spawning sound when it happens. Edit Lewin, don't declare war on, on me then, please. Stay at war with the Northern Dune and I. Don't, don't do anything against me, please. Would be rather funny if the dwarves uh, decided to ally with uh, Angmar as well. Uh, that would indeed be funny. But I don't think they will. They're probably going to end them before they do anything more. But if the elves and the northern Dunedain fights the dwarves, they should win that war. The can of Cand is dead. The can of Cand is dead. A candidate for adoption, why not? Mount Gundabad besieged. Okay. Who is besieging that? Go and scout a little bit over there. Oh, Dale. Oh my god, how powerful are they? Gandalf, please move your fat butt out of there. You're standing in the way. How is it going here? Are they winning here? It looks like they are doing that. The dwarves are so bloody powerful in the outer so They really are. Warriors of Khan have, be have been defeated. Foldberg, go for e everything you want to go for here. Oh, are they winning here, finally? Are they finally gonna take this region down? In and wait, you've yes, used every Honor. unit that you have had available for that region. Soon I'm gonna use the console command to move move him out of here because I want to besiege this place. 
He's standing in the way, and the elves are here, everyone is here, everyone wants to join the party by the looks of it. <laughs> oh, God. I really feel like the dwarves are gonna handle this on their own. Oh, Gandalf, move your ass out of there. Bloody hell. Try and end the turn one more time and see if they move out of there, because I want to be start besieging that location. Come on. Move out of there. Lithash has been taken though, and Isengard is defeated, so that is always a good thing. Oh, and they finally did it. In a way, did it. They took Karas. That took a while indeed, but they have done it. Well done, In a way, You did it at last. Took a long time. But you finally did it. Well done. Angmar, will you do anything? No, nothing. Adnaim, nothing. Inadwaith expands, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Invasion called. Karas Galadon, that's not gonna bother us at all. You will keep going for the capital. Oh, the dwarves failed by the looks of it. Gandalf, Gandalf. Get the hell out of there. I'm gonna move him. I'm gonna move Gandalf. Yeah, I'm sorry, Gandalf, but you're not doing anything there, so you're gonna be moved. Okay. Uh, move underscore characters. Right. Uh, Gandalf. Two, three, four point four one nine. Oh, is that gonna, not gonna work? Oh, it, oh okay, I, I spelled it wrong, I think. Did I do anything wrong here? Oh, now it worked. Or did it? Oh no, it glitched out. My Gandalf joined here. Oh god, <laughs> flipping hell. <laughs> He's been glitched out now. Oh bloody hell. Just get over there or something. Uh, we need to move this guy. Are we, are we gonna have to type Gandalf the Grey? I think so. I think you need to do like this. Gandalf... Let's take a look at his name. Gandalf the Grey. The... Ray. How about that? No, that doesn't work. Oh, we need to do this first. Okay, how about this? No, not gonna work. Okay, uh, we can't move him, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, you're just gonna go on all the way around then, I guess. Unfortunately, that's what you're gonna have to do. Go to the other side. God, this is frustrating indeed. <laughs> so frustrating. <laughs> I'm not sure what console command you need to do for to move this guy. I'm not sure. Uh, end the turn again. This is just me ending turns. I'm thinking I should stop the recording here and return to you when we have a big battle instead. I think that is the way to go from now on. No. I don't want to declare war against the dwarves. I want to stay neutral with them. Withdraw. Withdraw from that one. I think the Northern Dunedain won that one though. I don't want to fight the dwarves, absolutely not. That is something I do not want to do. North and Dunedain, you're blocking both of the entrances. Oh my god, this is so insanely frustrating. I just can't believe how frustrating this is. It's really, really frustrating. I'm going to cut the recording uh, now, and I'm going to return to you when we have a battle to fight. After quite some time, we will finally have a battle against the remnants of Angmar, and we're gonna get reinforced by the High Elves. Uh, so that is rather nice. Uh, they have some catapults and some good lads. It, I felt like it would be nice to have them in this battle, just to show their faction off a little bit. Uh, show what will come soon to my channel with the Elves of... Um, oh, can't even remember the name now. 
Ah, uh, God, I can't remember the name. Where is it? The elves of... Ah, uh... oh, God. Oh, can't remember the name. Oh, I know. Oh my God, this is brain freeze here. Can't remember. Uh, but we will go in here against Gorshad. Uh, let's go in to fight this battle. The elves of Region, of course. That is what they are called. And here we have their entrance. We're just gonna basically just go in there and smash them as hard as we can. We're not gonna spare our guys. Um, hopefully the elves will support us. Certainly hope so. We are going to need their aid in this battle. Uh, we might be able to do it alone without their aid, but who knows. Let's start the battle and get in there and start smashing. Do you have anything that you can use? You have a catapult. You will go on the offensive as well. Just go with the catapult and destroy their gate, please. And push in there. It seems you're trying to do something at least. Hopefully that is to help me. That is what I'm hoping for. We're gonna need your aid. Oh, this, this entrance is rather... Rather weak for us. It's a big uphill. It's gonna be devastating for my men to get in there. I'm gonna take some stamina loss with this, probably. Elves. Are you going with the catapult here for their gate? I hope you are. You can break through there alone if you want to, so please do. We have some good soldiers in this unit as well. Can we focus the gate? No, we can't attack the gate. But hopefully their catapult should, should do that. Calaquendi lords. Their bodyguards. Looking elite. We have one of those guys as well with Alderon. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's taking its sweet time with this one. <laughs> it's taking its sweet time. And they are winded here. Already. That's what I mean. Come on, catapult. Use your ammunition on the wall. And please hit your shots as well. Please hit them. We are up here though, so we're getting in. Every melee unit that we have will join in here. As soon as we open the gate. There we go. And soldiers, get in here. Not the car though. You need to get in there. The spear unit will get in there. Uh, the range troops will get in here as well. There we go. Beautiful. Cavalry, you're, you're not going to be needed in there. How are you doing? Are you fire? Yes, they are firing it. And they did it. They did it. They actually break through there. Wonderful. Good job there, elves. You did it. I didn't expect you to hit the target. But you are going in there. That is nice to see. We are also getting in there, and these guys are taking a... Oh, go into shield wall. They're sending their wargs against my spearmen here, but they should be fine. If they're on shield wall, they should be do good against them. Let's take a look. Do they have... Oh, they have a catapult there. Are they going to be able to answer the elven tide from the other side here? That remains to be seen. Certainly remains to be seen. I, I don't think they will be able to do that. They have some weak guys in here. And the spearmen are doing their job correctly. But they're taking some losses though. They are taking some losses. Uh, not you, not you. Don't do anything. You can actually run because you're archers. Oh, and it's taking a long time for these guys to get up there. <laughs> God, it's taking. It's really taking a toll on the men. Even the elves are winded. Interesting. Just stay in shield wall and fight them. My elven comrades are having a blast here. They're smashing through the Angmarim lines. Doing work. Beautiful to see. It seems that their cavalry has retreated. Take that away and rush for the square. And here comes my infantry units. Good. Getting in here. Form up over here. I wonder if the archers will have enough range if they stand over here. A 
would be rather nice if they would have that. Then we could fire on their main square from this uh, this area. I don't think we will have that, unfortunately, but we will try. Fast forward this a little bit. Get down there. You're going to have a front line up and going now. Go into shield wall. You will go for the wargs here. Go into shield wall as well. You can join on that side. You guys will join on that side. Where is Aldaron? He's over there. He can join over here as well. You can join there. Yeah, just get rid of this this uh, warg unit here, please. Oh, we have some merchants here. Actually, if you could just form up over there, it would be wonderful. The elves are pushing through, slow and steady. My archers are getting into position. Can you reach anything? No. Fire the Angmarim infantry then. How about you? You can reach. You have long range. Beautiful. You can reach them. Fire at them then. Dwarven travelers, you're not even here. Stand over here then. Uh, merchant infantry, go for their wargs, please. Defeat them. They're sending some more reinforcements on the elven side. Uh, the elves should be able to deal with these guys rather easily. But they're sending forth their weakest units, though. They're saving their strong units in the back. And look at these guys. They look so bloody good, these guys. They, their model is really polished. They're really a well-made unit, these guys. Look at this unit. It looks so bloody. The elves, I mean, the elves really looks the best in terms of polishness. They look so bloody polished. You just, you just go on the offensive, elves. Go ev send everyone in for this unit. Go on the offensive. Dwarven travelers. You can fire at the savages over there. Yeah, fire at the savages. They are... They're gonna take a lot of damage from us. What do they have here? Some Angmarim infantry. You can get over there. Help them out over there on the right flank. Over here, the walk skirmishes should die soon. We're getting surrounded there. Blow the horn, Alderon. This walk skirmishes should, should die soon. They're totally surrounded by us. They have some longbowmen in here as well, but they should die soon as well. They're taking some severe damage there. Focus this Angmarim unit now. You can tie up this unit. Elves, please send in everything you have. I'm actually going to send in some cavalry here. See if we can get some charges off in their backs over there and help the elves to make them more mobile. You can still fire at these guys. Yes, you can. Good. Keep firing at the halberdiers. I mean, Angmar has a lot of armies, but... Uh, Eventually, we're gonna win here, without a doubt. Go into shield wall. We just need the cavalry to join us here. Actually, you guys can just... Not you. You will keep on firing. The rest of the archers will get down here. Nice music, I have to say, in this battle. Get down there. Really nice music. Turn the speed down a little bit. And you will join over here. You will charge their forces down on the elven side. If we charge these guys in the back, they should break or die rather fast. And then finally the elves might go on the offensive a little bit more. That is what we're aiming for. We can form up over here. How is it looking on this flank? Pushing through, the house calls are pro almost dead. Go for the halberdiers now. You two will flank them from the side. Cavalry, just get out of there. Tie up the skirmishers. You will form up over there. And 
hopefully, you, you just need to get out of there basically. Just get over there. You will charge them in the back. Disengaging with their Angmarim infantry. Chase them. Let's try and tie them up if you can. Yeah, they're getting broken. Cavalry, form up over here. How is it looking on this side? You guys can flank. Alderon, you will flank in there as well. This charge on them here should be devastating. The elves are taking a lot of losses here. They're starting to send in some better forces though, which is rather nice. Hopefully we're going to charge from this area. If we are going to do that, we should be able to do a lot of damage on them here. Get in there and perform a solid charge for me, please. Unfortunately for us, no one of the cavalry are charging. Why am I not surprised? We can take one unit over there. You can join there as well. Leave behind this unit. Stay over there. And alone, hopefully you can do some charges on there. Would be nice if you could. Oh, they've tied up my archer force here. I'm not playing that good in this episode, I have to admit. I'm really not playing that good. But... Uh, I just want to basically start the Elven campaign. That is what I want to do. As you probably can imagine. Can we get a charge off now? Try, try at least. You guys can try and charge these guys in the back if you can. If we're lucky, you might get a charge off. Come on, I know you can. Just pull down your lances. It doesn't look like they will do that. No, they're not going to do it. Angmarim infantry, just some basic shit in here. Help them with the savages then. Over there, they are almost done for. Just ignore them. I'll let the elves deal with them. These guys are wavering. Ah, just rush for, f away from them. Form up over here instead. You're going to kill them on the way. We are winning here. Only have 71 men left. This is soon over. This is soon over. Just form up over here upside here. And hopefully we can do some damage via our ranged troops. But the elves are seem to just want to send in everything. And then if we can, if they want to do that, we can just fire everything we have at them. Fire your ammunition. Oh, they're just tying them up. Fire what you can fire on. Yeah, just empty your magazines on them. You can join in there. The generals died. This battle is soon over. <clears throat> they're out of troops. They don't have, have anything left. Go for this last unit here. Send everyone in for this last unit. Surround them. Of the city. There we go. We're about done here. We only have one more region to grab before this campaign is over. And it is Corn Doom. We have that under siege as well with an army. Are we done here? Yes, we are. Good. Clear victory. Well done. The elves didn't lose that many. Uh, well done. We have taken this place finally. After some time, I managed. I had to do a lot of turns to get to this point, but we have taken it. Wonderful. There we go, Mount Gram is done for. Exterminate this location. Uh, we have an army ready here to attack. But the thing is, they're gonna get a large garrison here, so we're gonna wait a while. What we could do, merge these guys up, send as many of these guys to Kondum as possible. As many of these healthy lads as we can send, we will send. I'm still ha decently happy here. Go for the Traveler's Rest. Yes, my lord. Alderon, go and support a Condom. There we go, one more region. Uh, I'm gonna cut it here actually, because it's gonna take a while before we get there, I think. I'm gonna cut it here. We'll see each other soon.
There we go. The final battle of this campaign is about to happen. Uh, Bernie have some good elven soldiers with him and some trained lads. And we're going to have Alderon reinforcing here. We just leave these places. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Angmar, if they wanted to, they could just go in there and nip and take them if they wanted to. But uh, they don't seem to want to do that. So, well, we're just going to use Alderon and Bernie here and take on Doom and defeat Angmar. And after that, end the campaign. So, let's go in and destroy Angmar. Okay, start deployment. Let's just get in there and be done with it. Uh, I wonder, is they are they going to be able to go in from there? I think they are. Uh, this battle map is not the most effective battle map for our troops to go into. Because they have a lot of things. They have a lot of defenses. We have another gate here. And they have towers. This is going to be hard. This will definitely be hard. Uh, there's no question about it. Uh, hopefully, my siege weapons won't be destroyed here. That would suck if that were to be the case. Uh, their towers are probably going to be powerful. This is a powerful region to hold. Uh, no question about it. Force Melee forces. Oh, we have a lot of archers here. What we need to do, we just, we just need to secure this gate, basically. That is what, what, what... Okay, form up over there then. Hopefully this ram won't be destroyed. Start the battle. Yeah, they have that. Go for the gates. We need to ram through here. That's the most important thing. Oh, but this is hurting my rams. Jesus, we need someone to act as a shield for my ram here. If they destroy that one, we're done for. These towers are gonna destroy these siege towers. There's no question about it. We had one ladder as well. Wonder if we should try and use that. I mean, we could send the arch. Yeah, archers, you're gonna take those. As long as they don't fire at my ram, we should be fine. The towers are basically just here to take fire from away from the ram, but they're still firing at it and it's hurting it. Hopefully, this won't start firing. This is the problem with these powerful siege towers. These uh, defensive towers, they're so bloody strong. We need this ram to be alive. And my allies' siege equipment are probably going to be totally smashed as well. Just get in there. We just need to start ramming down the gate. 39%, 50%, I mean, they're getting there. Could these siege towers actually made it here? Make it all the way over here? That would be nice if that would be the case. You're standing here as a shield for the ram. Good. They have a lot of forces blocking our path, and the actual square is over there. This is going to be tough. This won't be easy, not at all. Would like to just take control over this wall, though. All of their armies are outside as well. 42%, that is totally fine. They're probably going to get up there without taking too many losses. You can actually drop the ladders. Archers, we're gonna need you over here. Uh, you're gonna be the main source of damage that we can do in this battle. Send them on the offensive. You need to start doing something, uh, Alderon. I want you to start attacking. We're gonna need your army to be active. 40%, 47, good. We just need to save this ram for the next gate. 42, 50, they're not... They cannot hit my siege towers now, so that is good. These guys are going to get up on the walls. That is really a huge plus. What do they have here? They have some landsmen and dark blades. Actually, lumbermen. Are you? You're, yeah, okay. You're in control of the ram. Okay. Do we have any more melee forces here? All of them are going there. Okay. We're gonna let these guys do their work alone. We're through here. Leave the ram, let it be here. Go in here. They have some defenders already guarding here though, that's the problem. Get over there. Barrow whites, orc defenders and some savages. We need our archers to get in here. That is what we need, we need them to get in here. We just need to destroy this savage unit. Stop firing, stop firing, you're not gonna do anything from there. Move forward a little bit. 
building captured. You are gonna be sent in because you're really good. Get in there. You're gonna be really useful for us. The merchants militia are not going to do. Yeah, uh, maybe they're gonna do rather well against the Angmarim infantry. But over here, we're fighting some dark blades. But I, the merchant infantry should be able to do enough. I think they are quite strong. So go into shield wall as well. Try to push through if you can. Push. We want our archers to get in here. That is our main priority. Push through. Exactly like that. Good. Fight again. Actually, what we could do, we could send the best archers up on the walls. Yeah, you're gonna go up on the walls. Get up there. You can join as well. Get up on the walls. 42% still. You need to take this way, though. Take, no, 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 not you, not you. You need to get in there. I think you're going the right way. Go via the tower. I wonder if these guys could possibly break through in here. Yep, see if you can try and get in here. Squeeze your way through there. Take that away. Take away the skirmish mode. My merchant's infantry should be able to deal with these dark blades alone, I think. They are strong enough to deal with them, I would say. Push forwards a little bit more, though. Keep pushing. My archers are getting in there. Beautiful to see. Keep pushing, merchant infantry. And attack again. My archers are getting up here. Good. How is going for Alderaan? He's getting there. He's getting there. Good. We need him. We need him to support, absolutely. The archers will form up over here, and they're gonna, they're gonna start firing on the Barrow Whites. These elves are now into combat as well, and they're gonna do a lot of good damage against the wargs here. These guys are bloody wonderful in combat. Uh, merchants, push forwards more. You need to destroy these Dark Blades. So that my archers can fire freely. Keep pushing. Destroy them as fast as you can. There we go. I think we have them all tied up now. Ten remaining. Attack again. Ten remaining. Should be less now. One more dead there. Dead. He's dead. This should be the last guy. Four remaining. Three. Two. There he's dead as well. Come on, kill the last guy. Kill that last dark blade for me, please. Come on, just throw a punch at him. Oh, he's getting a kill on my guys. Just kill this last guy and we're done over here. These guys can get down. Just one stab is gonna be enough. One stab. Come on, guys. One little stab. We need to get the Dunedain up here. Are you still not done here? Come on. There we go, one punch, and he's dead. Good. Get down. Leave room for my archers. What are you fight? Oh, the steel bowmen, of course. We need them. Get in there. Oh, they have tied up my guys here. Yeah, you stay in combat with them. And my archers on the flank. Just push your way through here and fire at them from the back. And we should be done there. Steel bowmen, get your asses in here. We need you. Taking a bunch of fight. I did totally forgot about my steel bowmen. That was a mistake. They have some orc defenders there. Just get the archers up and going here. Oh, there's some pikemen here. They're gonna hurt us. Push forwards a little bit if you can, man. They have so many forces here. They have so much. But we have archers soon in here, so it's gonna be fine. Are you free now? Almost. Focus the Barrow Whites. Actually, Steel Bowman, if you could push forward a little bit, the Steel Bowman could take this spot up here and fire at their units that will come from this area. Oh, they're chasing off my Steel Bowman. 
Plotsy hell. They... Oh my god, that's frustrating. That is quite frustrating, actually. Get up there. Ignore these Barrow Whites, if you can. You've tied them up over there. Good. These archers need to get over here. I think we're up here now with almost everything. This unit can stand over there. Rangers, feel free to fire at will at this big blob here now. Uh, has this unit glitched out here? I think they have. Move. Start getting over here. If you could fire, please fire then instead. Are they going to fire from this area? Yeah, they are. Some of them. They broke my archers here. And they're tying up my... Do not die steel bowmen, unfortunately. Fire them then. How is it going for my ally? Are they getting anywhere? Yeah, they have gotten here with the ram. That is a good start. Steel bowmen fire at will at the Barrow Whites. I think these guys, they're sending some Orc defenders up here. That is rather frustrating. My entire front line seems to be broken soon. Um, that is not good. Absolutely not that good. But they're sending for reinforcements here. They're sending some merchant militia, militia here. That is good. I don't like that they're sending their orcs up here. Is there any way you can like get over there or something? They've glitched. They're glitched here. No? Uh, yeah, they're moving now. Good. Just get up here. Get up here. Let the rangers just let the rangers fire. Barrow Whites are soon losing their men. Could you guys do anything good? Could you go up this way perhaps? No, that's not going to be our maybe. Just take this way up if you can. 22. Merchant Militia is getting in here and supporting us. That is going to be nice. Slowly but surely we're getting through these defenses, but it's taking its time. Actually, you can fight them if you want. Are you done? Yes, you are. You're going to be done soon as well. These guys are breaking. Could you get down there? Get down from there. Fire at these guys instead. We should be doing quite a lot of damage on them, but... Uh, my men are really thinning out. My melee forces are really thinning out here. They certainly... But we're doing some good fire on them. They have lost 43%. And my, yeah, they are they're broken through and they're finally sending in reinforcements here. Like this, we will smash the Get over there and start doing something, please. We need you to do something. Steel Bowman, oh, they're sending a Barrow Whites to me again. Bloody hell. That is frustrating. They're not leaving me alone. You're about done here. You can get down from there if you want. They're shaken though. That is not a good sign. Go and defeat this unit, please. No, they're taking my ram. What are you doing? They're gonna get this ram destroyed. They're gonna get this ram destroyed. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Don't take my ram, man. Don't take it. Get back in there. Tie these guys up if you can. How is it going for you? They're 18 remaining. You're losing that fight. You're getting up here. But it's... Uh, I'm not sure this is going to end well for you if you get up there. Cavalry, I think it's time to send you guys in. You're going to be needed. Send every cavalry unit in here. What we need is to get these guys off the bloody wall, because they're making their towers fire. If we get rid of these guys from the wall, they're not going to be able to fire anymore. Come on, don't bug out on me now, please. Move. Do something. These guys have completely completely glitched out. Their front line is getting a huge buff from this. You disengage from these guys if you can. Disengage. We need the cavalry to get in here. 
You just tie up those orc defenders. You get over to this side if you can. I'm gonna try and free up this archer unit now. If we can. Cavalry, don't stop. Don't stand in the entrance. Keep moving. Just move. Keep moving. Just ignore those guys. Fire at them if you can. Just push through those guys if you can. Gonna take a lot of losses, but... Uh, merchants, come on. Just get over there. Run over there, please. Finally they're doing it. Thank you. Yeah, they're running down now. Good. I think they are, yes. Get down there as well and just join your men. Cavalry, don't stop. Keep running. You need to run. We need you up there. We want to try and get some charges off and going if you can. Oh no, what's going on here? No! Oh, what the hell are you doing? Merchants, why are you deleting yourself here? Did you see that? They just dropped from the floor. Oh my god, that was devastating. They're gonna break now. Here they send some gatekeepers. Good, we need reinforcements. We need reinforcements. Cavalry, you are going to go up here and do some work. You, what can we fire on here? Western defenders, guardians of Khan Doom. Fire at the Western defenders. No, don't take that way. Take this way. Take the secure way. Uh, actually, if you could just nip in over there. Get down there. Keep firing at the big blob here. Just to keep doing what you're doing. You can just get in there and die. I don't care. Steel Bowman. Fire in the big blob here. We're slowly but surely doing some work on them. It's taking its time, but... Uh, to attack on these kinds of settlements is really a death sentence. Um... You're signing a contract that will allow the game to destroy all of your men, basically. But I don't really care, because this is the final battle, so... It doesn't really matter how many losses we're gonna take here. They're sending... Seems that they're sending more reinforcements down there. Where's the general? He seems to be in the thick of it. Oh, it's Hunvorn, of course. He's down here somewhere, fighting with the Barrow Whites. Should be fine, though. Keep harassing those defenders. We're gonna deal with that Kondum unit with the cavalry that we have. Don't take that unit. You will go for the Kondum units. Destroy them. Is my ally getting a ram up there? If not, we are going to probably start doing that. Steel Bowman, take control over that ram. And slowly but surely get your ass up here to this gate. It might come down to this gate, so we need to destroy that one. You could actually go a little bit closer. Make your shots more effective. How is it going down here in the center? Are you down now? You seem to be down here. Good. Um, my rangers are doing work. They are the ones making the damage here. Actually, you could take this way. Go over there. You will join up here as well. And keep firing at the defenders if you can. You can rush forward a little bit. They are smashing my cab, these guys. Just get more men into the fight. There we go, and fight again. We should be able to drop these guys rather fast now. We have them totally surrounded. They are doing... They're putting up a fight, though, I have to say. They really are. Go for this defender unit. Use every ammo that you have on them. You've gotten the ram. Good. Start your long journey up to this gate now. Nine remaining. We're doing work on them. As long as Hunworn is alive, these guys won't break. But damn, my...
my archers are doing. I think the rangers have been the true heroes of this battle. They are pro they're probably done a lot of damage to them, f firing from this area. I could imagine. They're holding steady, but they're not going to be able to hold here for long. Hun Vaughn should die soon. You're about done there. Good job. Actually, cavalry, you know what? You're not done yet. Soon, though. Three remaining. One guy falls there. Two remaining. Just end them. And one guy there as well. He's dead now as well. Finish that last guy now. Come on. Finish him off. He should be dead soon. There we go. Good job. We're firing at these guys. Cavalry, get in there and just cleanse them. Cleanse them. Cleanse the lands of those guys if you can. I think you should be able to deal with them alone. Even though there are spears. Don't uh, use me as a model of how to play this game in this episode. Absolutely not. Because I'm... Basically all I'm trying to do here is just to finish this campaign off by destroying Angmar here. And I'm not playing good at all. I'm not. I'm just throwing away my soldiers basically in this uh, match. And you should never try to replicate, replicate the way I'm playing here. Absolutely not. It's just me wanting to finish this campaign off basically. They're really thinning out on troops now. They don't have a lot left. I think we're about to win here soon. They don't have a lot left. Victory is soon going to be ours. Well done, lads. Well done. Their general is still alive, though. These guys will hold to the last man. Until he's dead. Cavalry, get in there and destroy their general. Still have some orcs over there. Yeah, this is over. I don't think we're even going to need the ram. Just fast forward this. Wait for... Yeah, he's, he's dead. He's dead. They still have some guys here. They're going to break immediately. Just destroy them. Don't let them get to the square. And the battle. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, we l I think we lost more than this. But uh, we healed a lot, probably. Yeah, we healed a lot. Uh, well done. The final battle has been made. And Angmar is no more. There we go. Uh, Angmar is gone. Exterminate. Yep. They are gone for... We did it. Uh, the campaign is officially over. Both Isengard and Angmar is done. This episode, I'm not even sure how long this episode has been going on for. I paused the game a little bit to do some turns that wasn't going to be interesting for you. Just to pass the time. And uh, they're both defeated. I mean, the other Nime still has a force here. A big force uh, here at Harland, but we're not going to bother with them. Angmar is defeated and Isengard is defeated. That was my last victory conditions in this campaign. And to be fair, the interest in this campaign is really low as well. Uh, I'm not getting that many views on this one, so I hope that you understand me. We can just take a look at the map. Oh, it crashed. Oh my god. Well, that is going to be the end of the campaign. <laughs> I'm not going to show off the map. This crash will be the end of the campaign. I hope that you have enjoyed. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye to you all.